Hey guys, this is Jonathan with Dirty to Dreamy. We've got a, an older Chevy S10 or GMC Sonoma, whatever it is, um, that we're doing. We're doing some extra services for one of our best clients. It's a pretty beat up truck. Um, interior was pretty beat up. It was left in a yard for two years. It was given to him for free. So anything he invests with me is, it's just what he paid for the car basically. So I just wanted to show you Decon washes, there's different types of decon washes. There's chemicals you can use. There's clay bars, which, which I'm using now. You can use chemicals with your clay bars. There's so much you can do to decon a, a car and make it easier. But I wanted to show you this door here. Now we're being very careful because this door won't close. Again, this car's not the greatest car in the world. But watch, there's, there's no hydrophobic quality to this door. It's not repelling water at all. So what I'm going to do here, I've done my wash already, I'm coming back to do my decon. I've got some clay, I'm going to knead my clay because I just finished that side over there. Kneading clay is just simply folding it over and over and over again. I'm giving myself a nice fresh surface. Now this is a mixture of rubbing alcohol and water, that's it, distilled water and rubbing alcohol. I'm using that as my clay lube today because this thing's covered in sap and nastiness. It's been sitting in the yard for two years. So that's just an interesting thing to share with you guys. If you're using traditional clay lube on a car that's not, not real bad, perfect. If you've got a car that's got terrible water spots, you can use your water spot remover with your clay. That'll give you better results. And then when you're clay in a car, back and forth moment, movements. Basically with the, the direction of the paint. And you'll feel it too. You'll feel the grit and grime as you're claying. You can feel that there. You see that little spot that's disappearing? And that's now, you can see it's on my clay now. And now it could be road tar, rubber, who knows what it is, but it's coming off and that's great for the client. So we don't want to spend too much time in one spot. I'll come through with a, a stronger cleaner. I'll get that piece off there. There's some glue. <laughs> and you can do this on your windows, your plastics. You can decon pretty much everything, but you can see all the crud that was on there. That's what's stopping the surface from being hydrophobic. Hydrophobic is just a resistance to water, and if you have a flat surface, you should get a hydrophobic quality from everything. And you can see we haven't washed, or excuse me, we haven't polished this yet, but look at the hydrophobic qualities just from deconning the surface. So this is just a phenomenal example of what is actually on your paint that you can't see. Now I'm going to finish this whole truck. I'm going to go through and do the rest of the truck. I've already done the driver's side. And then we're going to go through and just do a one-step polish. He's got some pink and some, some uh, chalking and some nastiness on the other side. So we're just going to try to blend it and make it look good for him because he is one of our best clients. So hope you guys like that tip. Um, again, don't forget to subscribe. Also follow us on Facebook at Dirty2Dreamy Detail Services. I'm on Twitter and Instagram as well, and there's different content on every platform. So thanks for watching, and have a great day.